see two different styles defensively. NC State plays more of a gap defense. They're trying to get the ball out of the paint, but Aaliyah Moore gets two. These two backcourt combo, it's impressive. And can they handle the ball against the pressure of Texas? The guards are going to extend, and the posts are going to protect. Second most wins in program history. They're at 33 and 4, and that is after losing their All American point guard in Rory Harmon in December as Deanna Gaston hits. And Robin, yeah. and those things are interchangeable. Yeah. Madison Booker, the pull up at the free throw line. Now, she was in some foul trouble in their Sweet 16 game, was limited to just six points, her lowest total since November. There's Sanaya Rivers, the transfer from South Carolina. Texas are concerned about the transition of NC State. It starts with these two, Batman and Robin. Austin missed them both at the free throw line, and the ball taken away by Mimi Collins. Ooh. Rejecting the screen from River Baldwin, then hits her counterpart as Zaya James in the corner. Rivers with the crossover, hard drive to the middle, and the defense rotates in. That leaves Madison Hayes wide open. Those deep corners. Madison Booker, you can tell she is trying to make up for that Sweet 16 game. She only had six points. You know, Texas likes to run the dribble drive driving hard from one side to the other. If they're using the height advantage, the strength and size of Madison Booker, you notice Booker gives it up, gets off the top. And Four points for Booker. She had six in their last game. Isaiah James. Carry the ball, handle that pressure. Those backdoor cuts is, is how you relieve some of that pressure. And Texas forces almost 20 turnovers a game. It's a lot of pressure to handle. Shaylee Gonzalez and Shay Holly can shoot the three. Then you've got an inside presence. When you have a point guard that can really maneuver off ball screens and get to the mid-range, pull that jumper, that's just an added key. So how does he build programs? He starts on the defensive end. Then he brings in the offense. And that dribble drive, movement, offense, a lot of people want to play in that system. Isaiah James with the great defense. And over to the freshman, Zoe Brooks. And this will stay with NC State. And now to Mimi Collins. Oh, the back door for James. Didn't even touch the floor. Floating in the air, Isaiah James. Again, coming into this game, she had scored 55 of her 70, 70 points yeah. in the tournament in the second half. And when it comes to rebounding, Texas six in the nation in rebounding margin. Gaston, a beautiful pass going to the basket. Joey Brooks saves it for the Wolfpack. Amy Collins in the short corner. That's, that's Hayes and Moore, right? Matched up at the top of the key. And said to five. Brooks pushing. The kick out to a waiting Zaza. When we come back, we'll be right back after this message and a word from our ABC stations. Elliot Moore just taking it. Oh my goodness. Coach Schaefer told us the conversation he had with Madison Booker was not let, don't let one mistake turn into two or three. Maddie Fahey, a couple of chances. It's up and good. Ali Gonzalez beating Amo. Aliyah Moore bounces off the back of the iron, and then Mimi Collins will come up with it. Just muscled it. Sanaya Rivers count it. And the second foul. Against Aaliyah Moore. I know she knew where Zaya James was, and I think that's what made the defense have to hesitate a little bit to get matched up. What difference does Taylor Jones being available make for Texas? Well, she's got length, size inside, she can position and go isolation in the post on the block. It's good to see her out there today. Yeah, you don't want to rush back from that. She took a hard fall in the second round game. Sanaya Rivers is just dicing up the Texas defense of Texas.
basis of spreading the floor. And when any NC State player goes to the rim, they go with the intention of getting a layup. Mimi Collins has been a force on the glass. Defensively. Making sure it's one and done for Texas. And she can hit the three. All right. Ooh, the pack is on fire. Let's be quick here for the Longhorns. Deanna Gaston is blocked by Sanaya Rivers. Isaiah James has been able to be open outside the three-point line on a kickout. She's guarded by Shea Holly right now. There's the three-point line. I mean, she just looks so comfortable, like she's been camping out there all weekend. Both are at the free throw line. Buried it. And she is just picking her poison. When it's there, she got the pack in control, trying to get back to the final four. Texas 0 for 2 from 3. All right, Zoe Brooks flexing on her fellow freshman. Texas had trailed for 3 minutes and 41 seconds total in the tournament. Today, they've trailed for over 10 minutes. That's more of what Texas needs to do. You'll find those seams in the defense. Shea Holly in the paint. Neither one of these teams has been to the Final Four in over two decades. Deanna Gaston down low. Now, Gonzalez got to look for her shot. Ball bounces around. They'll take it. That's Texas's first three today. Joey Brooks hustling off to the left. Amy Collins with the extra effort. The putback. Shea Holly the catch and shoot off the inbounds play. See how NC State taking a step off. They're protecting the paint, making it tough. Shay Holly just giving herself some more space. Isaiah James back over to Sanaya Rivers. Inside to Baldwin. Patience, too. Sanaya River, River Baldwin down low, posting up two feet in the paint. Post players, when you do your work early, and Texas is that kind of team that can turn up defensively, start forcing turnovers and get themselves back in there. But you gotta, you gotta put a, some kind of defense on Rivers and James. Leah Moore with the putback, even to the point of cramping. But when she was on the floor, great things happened for the Longhorn. Shay Holly, she knows her spot. She's the only Longhorn in double figures with 12. A player that has stayed committed to the program, wasn't initially one of Vic Schaefer's recruits, but stayed and has been that workhorse and has increased from seven minutes a game to now in her senior year playing over 32 minutes per game. And on the defensive end, she's been one of their top defenders. This is a pass inside to Mwen and Tonda. She'll go to the free throw line. And Vic Schaefer likes to have the offense in front of him so that he can call what he wants. Kind of dial it up. Dial that up, Madison Booker. Kick to the corner to Collins. Crushed it! You gotta gamble a little bit now. It'll be interesting to see. Does Vic Schaefer stay in that zone? Because NC State hit a three, or will they change up? Aaliyah Moore will not be denied. A nice cut. Oh, but better defense! One and Tonda on the defensive end. Again, Texas has hit, has hit its last four shots. Make it five. 
Silva. Deanna Gaston with the finish. The kick to the corner. Zaza. Six three pointers. Here's Isaiah James going down to River Baldwin. About being a little too unselfish. Look for your shot. He wants her to be a shooter, too. Out of bounds. Off. It is time for her to take over. If they want a shot at a trip to Cleveland. Second attempt for Amo goes. Aaliyah Moore snuck around the baseline. Madison Booker, all right. Moving to the point guard position for the first time ever. On December 27th, when Rory Harmon, their All-American, went down with an ACL. Powerful take by River Baldwin. And they can ball screen, make two, guard one. All right, River Baldwin seems to be the answer, too. That's a big time take by Booker. That's how you take over freshman. The strength that she has, the ability to finish. See Booker having to handle the basketball. She needs to be a scoring threat. And one opportunity coming for Taylor Jones, who is Jones has got the height advantage for Texas inside. As long as she keeps it high, she gets the finish. Allison Hayes all the way around. Hitting Isaiah James, she relocates and hits a three again. Jones. Here's Rivers, won a national championship at South Carolina, would love to do it at NC State in her home state. coming in this half. Booker on the second effort, and Vic Schaefer will take a timeout. Turning the keys over to a freshman. Madison Booker went on to Big 12 Player of the Year. Taylor Jones back up and in.